What's up, everybody? Um, we are back at the hill. The knobs. Knob. We call it in southern Indiana. We're back with Tarmac. Still, it's the same as the last video with the Madone. But today, we're testing with the Melee. Envy Melee. We're testing them against each other. Yeah, they're like racing. This is a race. It's you're a race. right. How much? Um, what was the entry fee? 25 grand for both these bikes? Uh, people didn't like the last video. <laughs> yeah, they did. And some people loved it. That video, some people hated that it. That video got a lot of views. But me and Jesse are finding out that just roadies are haters. And every time we <laughs> film a video that has like curly handlebars, people in the comments are like, oh no. If you have an opinion about road bikes, let us know in the comments. Our video gets more views because of that. You gotta feed the algorithm. We're using the same hills last time. People said it wasn't steep enough, but I say if I just pedaled slower then aerodynamics would matter less but these are race bikes so we're gonna pedal fast and we're gonna go fast we're not scientists y'all we're just making a fun youtube video it's okay it's okay everything's the okay the thing that people didn't like is our tires because we had the specialized tires on this bike and then we had gp 5000s on the madone which are a couple watts faster but today we're still running the specialized tires on the tarmac and we're running the envy tires on the envy and according to bicycle rolling resistance they're like 0.1 of a watt difference so i don't think it matters at all this time and these are also the fastest tubeless 28 mil tires specialized makes and if you don't like that they're slow take it up with specialized not me we just sell stuff we, we don't just, make stuff we just sell stuff and these tires are great. What tires are these? Envy. SES 27. Oh no, that tire is bigger. No, that, that one, it comes with a, a sheet that says different measurements depending on how wide your internal rim width is. And they're like the same. These tires are the same. So, are you going to get hit by a car? I hope not. I hope not. Anything else that we should say before we start the test? What, do you, what bike do you think will win? Oh God. Um, I was so wrong last time. I seriously thought the Tarmac would win. I also thought it would win. Yeah. But the Madone is the best bike ever. It might be. I love it. I think the Tarmac's gonna win, but... Well, that's an endurance bike, so... That's what the people say. That's what I'm saying too. And then after we do the hill climb, we're going to the bottom of the hill because it's like a mile or so long of flat and we're gonna do like the flat arrow test. So I gotta go do some pedaling. We're gonna try to do 300 watts for all of the segments just like last time do you think youtube could teach me how to clip in yeah somebody comment the best technique hey youtube hit the like and subscribe button <laughs> Maybe you shouldn't have committed to doing yeah. this. There's a can of Vienna sausages on the side of the road up there. If we get 10,000 subscribers before the end of this video, I'll eat them. So is this bike still slow? No, it feels great. Yeah, the, like, it's such it a good bike. good going uphill. Because it's the best. you hit a bump in the road <laughs> and then it hurts your t Can I say that on the internet? I don't know. I'm gonna have to bleep that. Bleep that. Bleep that <laughs> My sit area. <sighs> So does this bike climb? It feels, we haven't reviewed it at all yet, but I love the Envy so far. I've probably done maybe like 600 miles on it. And uh, as a lot of people know, the Madone is my favorite, but it might be my second favorite. That's exciting. That's exciting. You know why that's exciting? Because you have to ride it Because I have to team. ride it all year. <laughs> I'm not upset about it. Did well, you see the new mod colors? New mod colors. We got a black, blue, right? No. What else? That's the new melee colors. Oh, you talking mall. Yeah, there's a blue and a red now. So everyone knows when you come to the bicycle race in Madison, Indiana that we're putting on, glacial drainage. Make sure you have everything before you leave. <laughs> Somehow I've lost a pair of s shoes and a Garmin there. <laughs> Madison is stealing from me. pressures only fair to make the youtube happy one 120 yeah 120 okay 120 Running and everything the amount of people that come into my shop with a flat tire and then i pump it up for them and i ask how much do you want in there 
<laughs> and it's a 40C like cruiser tire and they're like 100. I say no. <laughs> Big liability. <laughs> it's giving you the beeps. Okay. And we're off. I took the battery out of this other power meter so Trey doesn't have any problems because it was trying to connect to this tarmac and he was trying to start the first effort, so. Follow me on Strava. What are we doing now? I think we should do the flat segment thing. Do you, do we have time for that? Yeah. It took us 51 minutes of up down <laughs> riding to film that test. So hopefully the flat part is shorter. Should we just do two runs? I don't care. It's up to you. It's your video. We'll see how much time we have. Do you think the people would be mad if we only did two runs? They'd say our data is in insignificant. So I was thinking about that data thing and we can talk about this more, but like people who review cars on YouTube don't change the tires every time. That is so true. Right? They just be like, oh, this one comes with Wrangler, whatever is, I don't know what tires are called. I feel like we screwed up with the Madone, with the GPs, but I think going forward, we're gonna review bikes with the tires that they are supposed to come with. Well, like the Madone, we built that, bought the wheels. We should have put R4s or R3s on it. Those tires are fast. They just go flat a lot. So, so it would have been the same, I think. Those tires are probably faster. I don't know. We're learning. Or we could just standardize running one tire but someone would have to send us a bunch of tires to run. If you want to send us tires for these videos, do it. Continental, we're looking at you. <laughs> What's like the worst tire brand? I don't know. Tufo. Tufo. Tufo makes fast tires, they I think. They make fast tires. They also just go flat. Dude. Some Maxis. What are those called? High roads. Maxis, send us your high roads. You have to do what it again. Your tire's on backwards. Oh, yeah. I put this on backwards, but there's like no tread. Why would it have a rotation? You have to, you have to start over. Okay. <laughs> We're at Floyd Street. Floyd Street, a road that people don't use. <laughs> so that's good. No one's here. No one's here to hit me. Are we um, going that way? Go that way for like, I don't even know how long this is. Hopefully we get a mile. If we don't, that's okay. It'll be, a, it'll be we just We have fun. like an hour of daylight left, so we kind of have to hurry too. This will go faster than the hill climb, I think. But we have to come back. The hill climb only took like five minutes to go up, but then it took like one to go down. This is gonna be like three and three. That's like six. Same, same. We're using our brains. Instead of riding back, we can just drive. That was a good segment. It looked like you weren't trying that hard, so that's funny to hear that. It hurt in my legs. <laughs> Hydration. Why are we doing this? <laughs> Why are we doing this? For clout. Is someone gonna give us clout? Please. <laughs> Please. Please. You would think this would work better. What? Power meters? If I just like turned it off, it would, <laughs> and then turn it back on, it would connect right away. We'd have to start another ride. Unacceptable. Should we do that? I feel like that'd be easier. Do you think people are gonna complain about the small percentage difference in power meters and that our data is inaccurate? Yes, because they already did that. I know. I got schooled so hard in the comments last time. They're like, your corks have 0.2% <laughs> power accuracy. They wanted us to like put the same power meter on each bike each different time. We should have done that. Why didn't I think of that? Because it would have taken eight hours. That's why I didn't do that. <laughs> For a silly YouTube video. Do you think these are silly? No. I feel like these are useful. If you find them useful, let us know. Oh, and we decided to only do two runs on the <laughs> flat segment. Because it's hard. It's, it's tiring and it's getting dark and I'm hungry and I want dinner. And also this tarmac, this will be the last two hard efforts I'm doing on it. So in a very short time, where can you find this tarmac, Jesse? Probably nowhere, because it'll probably sell before... On the bicyclestation.com. I just got a phone call about a 30.4 seat post. Please stop buying Amazon e-bikes, y'all. Wagon.
Magtrons are we, sick. We can't help. We just can't help y'all with it. People want our help with it, and we just don't know what to do. If you buy an Amazon e-bike, I'm going to tell you to call Amazon. They, uh, they also don't make the nuts for the rear <laughs> axle in America. Proprietary nut. That's the problem we had today. Well, I guess we had two Swagtron problems today. <laughs> they make up sizes and put them on the bike, so that way when it breaks, you have to buy a new Swagtron. <laughs> Everyone's gonna be upset, but that's okay. I'm it's, upset. It's just for fun. I think we're gonna do a full melee video at some point. Is the tarmac lighter? The tarmac's definitely lighter. <laughs> and it has smaller chain wings, so that'll make it even lighter, but not by a whole lot. Probably just like a pound. What are these big yeah. nip? What? Whoa, <laughs> we're in the KG land. We don't do that here. I don't see. Yeah, that's the only thing nobody's complained about is that we weigh things in pounds. Well, it's because we're right. 13? 16, oh, 16 pounds. Yeah, what a good bike. That's a light bike. It really is. That's light. Yeah, it's, so, it's really light. For a size 58, can you hear the people in the bar? Mm, probably, we're, we're really bad at audio. <laughs> probably so. <laughs> Can we get a mic? I have one and we tried it and it did a little crackle crackle and I, I didn't know what to I do. Love that noise. This is heavier because I already know what it, it was. Hurts my arms. 16.8? It's still, still light. That's really good. Both bikes are very light. It's if you switch power meters, I think they'd be within a quarter pound probably. A but, whole cheeseburger. But I think this bike is definitely heavier. The frame is but heavier. Regardless, the frame is it heavier. has fender mounts. Yeah, that's a big plus if you're into that. Um, so let's get into the test results. Up the hill, tarmac, 434, 439, 439 for an average of, would you say 437? Yeah, but I did, that, was that was just that off was the, like a guess. That's, a, that's my average. That's not the, that's not the math <laughs> average, that's my average. Envy went 440, 442, 438 for an average of 440. 440. So, definite winner. Yeah, the, stomped. The tarmac did some stomping up the hill. Stomped it up That's the hill. A, are we surprised? I don't think so. What's I the, would have assumed that would win. Like I did last time and it lost. And then it lost. Yeah, which is still confusing to me. What's the what's the wattage is was oh, were those were, consistent? Uh, 301, 299, 299, 298, 298, 300. So so within a percentage of error. Three watts. The wattage is close enough to me that it's That's different. Like point three percent. Yeah, I mean, and the wind and everything. Yeah. This is just for fun. Just for fun. Just for fun. That one. It did win. Congrats, Tarmac. Good we can job. we can end the video right here, right, Trey? No, because then, <laughs> oh, shit. then we did the flat segment. <laughs> We're gonna make this little segment. We had to make a new segment for this. A flat test segment. <laughs> Come get the KOM on it. Do you have the KOM? I do. Nobody <laughs> <laughs> be tested very much. We went in B first. It was, and we only did two runs. Two forty three and two forty five for an average of 244. And then Tarmac, 248, 250, for an average of 249. What is that, like four seconds, five seconds? That's what, five seconds? Were the wattages the same on this? Uh, 296, 293, 291, 294, so. No, they weren't. They were within five watts. Okay, I mean, it's close. Yeah, I guess this was like, couple watts lower. I think but on the second run, this one had higher watts than that one. Oh that okay. One, that one still went faster with seconds, lower watts. Five seconds faster. With, with lower watts. watts. Interesting. So very interesting because this bike isn't arrow. Well it kind of is. I don't think it is. It doesn't look arrow. This bike claims to be arrow and Does doesn't it look, look arrow. The, I mean, it's got the beluga though. The, We've done so many videos about the beluga whale. Do you think if you had the handlebar the tarmac would win? I don't either. People it's such a marginal thing. Like it might gain you a watt. I specialize as like 
16%, but I'm pretty sure that's compared to like the widest, roundest handlebar you could ever buy. It's like a sail. <laughs> yeah. Like they have a sailboat. Yeah, I don't think that's true. Well, interesting. Uh, um, wheels are pretty much the same wheels depth. Are similar. I don't believe Specialized claim that the super wide wheel is like faster because it's wider than the tire, so then the wind would like hit it, maybe. I don't know. What else? Is this an aero bike? No. I feel like the Madone would crush both of them in that flat, <laughs> so flat segment. The Madone just scoots along, you know, it, it yeah. really does. I think my next test, I want to test the wheels. Like, we'll just use one bike, but switch the wheels. We might do like a full wheel shootout. Like, I think that's what we should do. Zip 303s and whatever else we have. I have a 353s, 454s. I'm getting a SES 34 wheel set soon. We have the Rapids and then I'm, do you still have those the Trek tracks. wheels? What do you got yeah. on your Crux? We got, this is my favorite wheel of all time. Yeah, me too, actually. Just the, for the record, these are so good. The Bont Rager Aeolus RSL 37V. They are the best. I literally love so those. So these thing. wheels, they're claimed to be a gravel wheel, but they're the same internal width as the Envies. Uh, no, no, not those. Those are 23. No, they're 25. For the Deep Boys? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, and those are hookless, but these are hooked. So that's a big plus because I don't want my tires blowing off. And these are like way lighter. Those are the- Over a hundred grams lighter than those. And DT hubs that work. They're 180s. Sometimes NV hubs. Don't work. We're like on a tangent right now, but I know I gave Bontrager a ton of crap in my wheel review video, but like I totally want to clarify that I also agree with Trey. I've owned a, two sets of those RSLVs and they are amazing wheels. I've had three sets of Bontrager wheels and every single one has been my favorite. The 51s the are 51s awesome, are man. Sick. The 51s are sick. The, I don't know why you'd want the 62s over the 51s. They're like the same weight as those. Yeah. So they're light and deep, but I think deep wheels are overrated unless you're doing a time travel. Interesting results here. I definitely feel like the Envy is a cool bike. I don't think we can pick like a winner. Madone versus the Tarmac, we were able to pick a winner because one bike won both things. But today, one, one each thing. Well, we're also talking about barely a difference. Yeah. Yeah. Both yeah. videos, of, both of these two videos we've done now, we're not. Both bikes are sick. We're not going to get into the details about what I like about each bike. But you've already done it. We've done a full review on this Tarmac. I still think it's one of the best bikes you can buy. There's some stuff about it that you might not like. You as the viewer I'm talking about, we've already. I think most people would like this bike. I think it's the general, like, if you want a road bike that feels fast, like, buy a Tarmac. The negatives, dude, I think there's two negatives about this bike. One is the stiffness. It's so stiff. I don't like riding it because it, like, literally is, it hurts to ride. It's a vibe. It doesn't handle as well as either the Trek or, and both of those bikes feel way more, like, grounded. You can tell when you're descending or hitting corners hard. We've ta I talked about it in the last video that this bike just, it feels like scary, a little sketchy to like rail corners. Both bikes, all three bikes are worse than my Alpha though. Maybe we should test that. I think you should, cause I love it. I think it's awesome. I don't know, Envy or not Envy, it's that brand. Uh, the, 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 the brand that we, we test it. The, the brand that we sell a lot of, you know, yeah. the one that is one of our main you're, brands. Your main brands. <laughs> I true. guess you are we though. <laughs> you, um, you are we. Yeah. Envy. Yes. I, I think Envy deserves some props on this. Uh, we talked about their marketing strategy in our last video, but like the products are, are solid too. I, like I say, yeah. Like yeah. Kudos to them for making something that's good. I mean, yeah. we're going to get a MOG here soon to do some content with and uh, excited to see what you think of this as a race bike because definitely interesting. I don't know. I don't do road stuff, dude. Yeah. Road stuff. So full like review video of this will be coming out soon that'll be a midsummer video i yeah. think because you because you're gonna live with this the the envy is your your bike for the year like yes. your this is your team bike <laughs> siri series <laughs> siri needs to jump in um and i guess we're saying goodbye to the sl8 yeah if you guys want to buy this it will probably be gone it's gonna sell before this video yeah. comes out dude yeah, I, that bike will be gone but 
We have some other ones. And we're getting more SL8s in stock. If you're interested in an S-Works or a 10 hour frame, we, we can't ship a complete specialized, but if it's a frame set, like we'll just ship it straight to your house. So you can order that right now on the or bicycle we can station. Build it for you and you can come pick it up. Yeah, there's a lot of options, whatever. And we can do that with uh, most brands. Right now, the only brand that we can't ship anywhere, period, is Cervelo and um, Pivot. So, what bike do you guys want to see us review next? Everyone Fantastic. wants us to buy a canyon. We're not going to buy a canyon. <laughs> I'm not even going to tell you why we're not going to buy a canyon. But we would never do that. I, I think if Canyon or somebody sent us if a Canyon, Canyon frame, we would do it. One, I would definitely ride it. Uh, What's another cool bike on the market that should we do the S5? I guess I don't like, I would be more interested in reviewing the solo. Um, the, yeah, I, I think I agree. I actually, we just got one in the mail today a 54 solo is frame uh, in Columbus, so it's a gold one. Oh, mm -hmm. the budget the budget the SLR, the SL. that would be a cool bike to review i feel like we would need an slr we had that we did that already but like to i think i think sl versus slr would be more interesting than taking the sl Should versus like a budget bike yeah test? let's take the sl7 and the sl madame an sprint to show people how <laughs> Like, subscribe. Buy stuff. Bell us. Bell us. Please bell us. Let us know what y'all think about this. Bye.